I've been living basically on the streets since I was 12. Now, I mean, so it was a long time. And, uh, since you were 12, you've been I, living out on the streets? Since I left my child, I was putting a children's home and I ran away. From then, I've only ever lived on the streets, in prison or in hostels. So that's a long time, you know what I mean? Also, you're in a cycle that's very hard to break, aren't you? Uh, it's not easy. It's, like, it's, it's, it's a habit of its own. It's, it's, going to be, it's going to take a lot, you know what I mean, for me to get to be in a normal life because I've got a lot of hurdles to climb. There's clearly a pattern emerging here of people going from prison on the streets to hostels. And you have to question if enough being done to get people to stand up on their own two feet and take responsibility for themselves, or is it just too easy for them to remain in that cycle? Fraser is a hostel resident who explains to me why presently it's not in his interest to get out of the benefit system. It's £165 a week, regardless. All right. Um, the housing benefit will cover 100 and I think it's £37, and the rest you have to make up out of your fortnightly money. You, 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 you gyro. Yeah, but if, I was, if I was earning minimum wage and working 40 hours a week, they would still expect 165 quid a week. Which would leave you very little. Which would leave me with, what's the point in working? By the time I've travelled to work, fed myself for lunch during the day, I'd actually be in debt. So, I mean, the system's built up so that you have to be unemployed. And then you've still got to justify to the job seekers allowance that you're out there looking for work or they'll stop your money. Just so you can And I'm money. having to put on my CV that I've been in prison. And if I want a job, I never tell people I've been in prison because you just won't get the job. So I'm, I'm applying for these jobs that I might get because the job centre are sending me the referrals and I'm having to apply for them, but on the bottom of my CV, I'm writing down that I was in prison for nine months just to make sure I don't, don't get, get the, the job, job so I can continue getting my benefits so that I can get a flat sooner or later. It's, uh, aye, the system's broken. I need to get out and earn my own money so that I can feel good, you know, because there's nothing better than when you go to the bank at the end of the week and you take out money that hasn't been given to you by the government. You've grafted for it, it's yours, and if you want to go for a pint, go for a pint, you deserve it. Yeah, it's your absolutely. money. It's clearly wrong that a system intended to get people back to work is preventing Fraser from doing so. And it also highlights that the system is open to manipulation. And if the gap between the money that you earn by working and by not working is so small, then why would you work? The benefit system was set up as a, a safety net to help people back to work not for people to adopt it as a way of life. Right, they're warning them, right, to disperse now, otherwise they're going to unleash with the water cannon. There you go, there it is, there's the old man. There we go, there's 